Hi, in this video, I am going to demonstrate the dynamic simulation capabilities of SC Motion, which is a motion and dynamic simulation add in for space claim. Let's consider a backhoe assembly uh, displayed here. I have got this from grabcad.com, a model by Babak. So, this is a SolidWorks file which could be easily imported in space claim. After importing, certain modifications were done to simplify the model and then different assembly conditions were defined in space claim then we go to SE motion click on update SE motion tab is generated to the right bottom there you can see that all the components are listed as well as the joints these are the mechanical joints corresponding to the assembly conditions so we are in this particular assembly we are interested in giving translatory motion to these linear actuators so this this is one set of linear actuators since these two are in parallel we can give to any one of them so if we hover our mouse on or if we click on this tree node the constant is displayed so let's give a translatory motion to give that right click on a joint cylindrical joint click on set joint input here I've already defined uh, a simple harmonic motion as joint input to this linear actuator let's click on OK similarly other two linear actuators are set a given joint translatory motion okay after that we are interested to determine the dynamic characteristics of the system to for that we have to define mass and inertia properties of the components since space claim api does not allow uh, mass and inertia properties in the current version so i have generated this manually i have entered this manually the copies i could get from autodesk inventor assembly of the same assembly once space claim exposes the API this will be generated automatically by our add-in all the components have been defined uh, with uh, their mass and inertia properties after that let's we have to give a uh, direction of gravity so in the assembly frame we have to define gravity along minus y direction that has been entered here then we have to give simulation settings let's have it for 50 frames and error tolerance can be 10 to the power of minus 7 and we start simulation Once the simulation is done, we can use the playback deck to see the animation. So the bucket comes down and goes up and comes back to the zero position. In this particular tutorial, we are interested in the dynamics characteristics for which we have to go to graph plot, click on plot. A window pops up. With all the joints we are interested in last three cylindrical joints uh, so if we click on translation force in z direction so this is the amount of force that needs to be applied in the first actuator to have the prescribed motion that we have given so this is of the order of 20 kilo newtons so from this plot we basically get an idea of the size of our motor or actuator what should be its capabilities and other characteristics so this is for the actuator 2 that's in the range of 6 kilo newton and actuator 3 has a range of say 3 kilo newtons so as you can see the uh, value of the 
highest point in the graph plot has come down with the succession in the linear actuator. So from dynamic simulation we get an idea of what should your motor rating be. So this is about dynamic simulation. Uh, we can explore a lot of other features like in uh, here we can give force as input to the system. We can give uh, linear, you can have a linear spring. We can also have a linear damper. So all this uh, combination can be explored. Thank you.